In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can make use of .gitignore in Git to ignore certain set of files. So you must have noticed whenever we are adding a new file, Git keeps track of it. And at times, we might have a requirement of sorts where we don't need that file to be tracked at all by Git. In order to do that, we have to make use of a git ignore file. Over here, you can see that I have mentioned few of the things like file extensions, which needs to be ignored. For example, star.txt, star.log, star.zip, or a directory altogether, asset slash images. Git ignore basically supports regular expressions. So you have n number of permutation combinations over here which you can mention and accordingly it will ignore those files it will not keep a track of those files so let's see one such example in action over here i'll be adding a new file and let's call it as sample.log now you can see i have created this file and let's add something to it so here we are saying this is a log file if I go over here and I type this command get status, you will see one such file which is mentioned over here as sample.log. Now, what I'll do next is I'll add another file and this time I'll name it as git ignore. And over here in this file, I'll be mentioning the extension. For example, over here I have dot log file added. So I'll mention star dot log save this and now try executing the same command get status this time you will notice that it is not showing sample.log as a file which it was earlier showing now it's saying that you know this is the file that has been added and since this is something which we will be requiring so we can go ahead and add it so we'll say get add dot get ignore and after that we can just go in and say get commit minus am and we can just write add dot get ignore file and there we go so that's how easy it is to ignore certain set of files or directories when you're working on a project using git